The Deacon's Masterpiece by Oliver Wendell Holmes Read for LibriVox.org by James Christopher JX Christopher at Yahoo.com Have you heard of the wonderful one hoss shay that was built in such a logical way it ran for a hundred years to a day? And then, of a sudden, it ah, but stay, I'll tell you what happened without delay, scaring the parson into fits. Frightening people out of their wits. Have you ever heard of that, I say? 1755. Georgius Secundus was then alive. Stuffy old drone from the German hive. That was the year when Lisbon town Saw the earth open and gulp her down. And Braddock's army was done so brown, Left without a scalp to its crown. It was on the terrible earthquake day, that the deacon finished the one-hoss shay. Now in building of chaises, I tell you what, there is always somewhere a weakest spot. In hub, tire, fellow, in spring or thill, in panel or crossbar or floor or sill, in screw, bolt, thoroughbrace, lurking still, find it somewhere you must and will, above or below, or within or without, and that's the reason beyond a doubt. A chaise breaks down, but doesn't wear out. But the deacon swore, as deacons do, with an eye do vum or an eye tell you, he would build one shay to beat the town, in the country and all the country round. It should be so built that it couldn't break down. Fur, said the deacon, tis mighty plain, that the weakest place must stand the strain. And the way to fix it, as I maintain, is only just to make that place as strong as the rest. So the deacon inquired of the village folk where he could find the strongest oak that couldn't be split, nor bent, nor broke. That was for spokes and floor and sills. He sent for lacewood to make the fills. The crossbars were ash from the straightest trees, the panels of white wood that cuts like cheese, but last like iron for things like these. The hubs of logs from the settler's elm, last of its timber, they couldn't sell em. Never an axe had seen their chips, and the wedges flew from between their lips, their blunt ends frizzled like celery tips. Step and prop iron, bolt and screw, spring, tire, axle, and linchpin too, steel of the finest, bright and blue. Thoroughbrace, bison skin, thick and wide. Top boot dasher from tough old hide, Found in the pit when the tanner died. That was the way he put her through. There, said the deacon, now she'll do. Do, I tell you, I father guess, She was a wonder and nothing less. Colts grew horses, beards turned gray, Deacon and deaconess dropped away. Children and grandchildren, where were they? But there stood the stout old one-hoss shay. As fresh as on Lisbon Earthquake Day. Eighteen hundred, it came and found, The deacon's masterpiece strong and sound. Eighteen hundred increased by ten, Handsome carriage they called it then. Eighteen hundred and twenty came, Running as usual, much the same. Thirty and forty at last arrive, And then come fifty and fifty-five. Little of all we value here, Wakes on the morn of its hundredth year without both feeling and looking queer. In fact, there's nothing that keeps its youth, so far as I know, but a tree and truth. This is a moral that runs at large. Take it, you're welcome. No extra charge. First of November, the earthquake day. There are traces of age in the one-hoss shay. A general flavor of mild decay, but nothing local as one might say. There couldn't be, for the deacon's art had made it so like in every part that there wasn't a chance for one to start. For the wheels were just as strong as the fills, and the floor was just as strong as the sills, and the panels just as strong as the floor, and the whipple tree neither less nor more, and the back crossbar as strong as the fore, and spring and axle and hub on core, and yet, as a whole, it is past a doubt. In another hour, it will be worn out. First of November, fifty-five. This morning the parson takes a drive. Now, small boys, get out of the way. Here comes the wonderful one-hoss shay. 
drawn by a rat-tailed ewe-neck bay. Hut up, said the parson. Off went they. The parson was working his Sunday text. He had got to fifthly and stopped perplexed at what the Moses was coming next. All at once the horse stood still, close by the meeting house on the hill, first a shiver and then a thrill. Then something decidedly like a spill, and the parson was sitting upon a rock at half past nine by the meeting house clock, just the hour of the earthquake shock. What do you think the parson found when he got up and stared around? The poor old shay and a heap or mound, as if it had been to the mill and ground. You see, of course, if you're not a dunce, how it went to pieces all at once, all at once and nothing first, just as bubbles do when they burst. End of the wonderful one hoss shay. Logic is logic. That's all I say. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.